Hey, yeah! DCWL fails, Derek. The V Extreme. And this is Hardcore Resurrection. Woohoo! And yes, we have a great show for you guys tonight. And I'm just so excited. I'm so pumped and so thrilled. Our first match of the night is going to be the 12 man BCWL style battle royale. Where the winner will get to fire two people from the roster. And first up, we got King. And it should be noted that we had four people from the tag team division, four people from the female division, and four people from the male division, all here. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting thing to see who wins when there is bubbles. And yeah, it's going to be great to see how this match goes, and this is contested under DCWL style Battle Royal rules, which means first blood, you're eliminated, if you get pinned, it's automatic, you're that, you're out, now that's Joey and Kujo, and if you're knocked out, you're out, and thrown over the top rope, you're out, you can submit, and you're out. So, yeah. These CWL style rules, it really increases what it is that it is that the odd, the ways that you can get thrown out. And we have a tag team Fight. that's already in here. We got Julian and Bubbles from the trailer park that are already in here. I mean, there's going to be no love loss here. Everyone wants to 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 win and get their voices, get who they want fired, fired. And it should also be noted that this does not impact. They're not fired from NCAA if they are. They. Oh, he's out. Out already. Like I said. Pinball, you get pin punch, you're automatically out. So, I am like I said, it keeps the excitement level. And now, who's the next person? Oh, it's Shu Ying! Shu Ying. And she won a match before, but she's in the intro of the DCW game. And I mean, Shu Ying, I mean, she's a fitness. Asian fitness lady who has gathered in martial arts and she's very much well known for being a fighter and she's a DCWL original she hasn't fought a lot in DCWL granted but she's still there and she's still being impressive and now we it super nice person and yeah this is going to be interesting to see who gets the gets to fire two people from the roster. And like I said, it won't affect the NCWL roster as it currently is. It's more about who's going to be cut from the DCWL NCWL lineup roster. I mean, it's only going to affect DCWL really. And now, oh, that armbar right on Josie by Bubbles. And now Iron Swift and no. And a little hit reversed. Inno and Bubbles go ahead. And now Shu Ying goes from behind and a back suplex. And yeah, I mean, we don't get to see battle royals like this often in the new rebranded BCWL, but this is going to be a interesting thing. See. I want to see who comes out on top of here. Who gets gets the win now? Low blow block by Kino on the bubbles and oh, shooting the goal by Sabu and now kick back and 
like I said, the ways that you can be eliminated in this is variables. And now, wait a minute. Back suplex. Right, just dumping Shu Ying right on her head. And now grabbing him from behind. And a back suplex. And now, ooh, that, ooh, that kick. That bicycle kick was reversed by Shu Ying. Now going from behind him. Oh, low blow. Right to the right to the tank. You see, you're going for behind. No, wait, no, wait. Roll up. Three. Three. Shu Ying is out. Wow. Shu Ying is out of the ring. Has she been eliminated now? And it goes behind. And what's she doing? Keeps going from behind him. Oh, low blow once again. And Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon, he's been, he's had a pretty active run in BCWL so far, winning, being part of many matches. He can, wait a minute, oh no, him and no, going back and forth on punches, and now Kano gets knocked down. Kano, you, you would think, he has more of a death instinct to him, and now, oh, hit right to the face. Grabs him and one from behind. And oh no, gets reversed again. And now wait a minute. Oh wait, they're setting up for a doomsday device. But I'm jolting in. They hit it. <laughs> and pinball, and she is out. The doomsday device got her. And now, oh, kick right to the face. And Kano's. Kano, I mean, wait, oh, Bubbles is out, and now Belle Delphine is in here, now hit, and suplex, we got two eliminations in pretty quick timing, and that's just how these battle royals go, and now Michael Jordan is, co is coming out, he's a former NCWL champion himself, very legendary in his own right in basketball. And but now, yes, let's see how this match is gonna keep going. And yeah, and oh, what a Pele right on Flash Gordon's head. And, and now Michael Jordan him in the back. And, yeah, and, oh, what a big chops down to Flash Gordon. Grabs him, and what's she doing? And, oh, what a big suplex. Del Bell Delphi. Hit from behind, and maybe another Pele. And, oh, what a choke by Michael Jordan. Oh. I wonder who, uh, who are these people going to choose. And, oh, what a big back suplex going from behind. And I, oh, what a leg lock by Bell Dalphy on to Kano's. And now, suplex. Drop it. Oh, just tossing him up in the air. Back suplex. Oh, back suplex runs. Which one? Oh, what a big slam right down. And now, Michael Jordan, Irish whip reverse again. Oh, man, he reversed that by standing on the right side. Again, another reverse. Kano's dropping him with that atomic drop. Right and now, oh, what a back right there. And, wait, what's he doing? Oh, nothing. Now it's going from my nope, turning him back around. And, big suit. Oops, 
difference, and now Bell got eliminated. Out. And, yeah, let's see who's going to come out next in this. And drop right on the And Nina Williams, she's a fighter, she is. And, yeah. I mean, we do have a pretty stacked roster in this 12 man battle royal. And now we're going to grab them and go from behind. And, ooh, spinning back suplex. And scoop slam. Hit. Hit. Oh, what a big slap scene, though. Sending. Plus, we're down and now. Wait a minute. Oh, hit a club right in the back. And now. Hit. Send Michael Jordan back. And now, wait a minute. Oh, what a, what a leg twist. And now. Oh, headbutt! Michael Jordan is bleeding. He is out. Three, oh, it's a now, wait, wait, the first, and now Flash Gordon is out. Kano has been Kano has been here for a while, and he's here from the beginning. And now, Mr. T, a DCWL original himself, he's coming in and stirring. House here and Ooh, what a big hit toss. And I'll grab him and oh it's reverse now. Julia Caplet from Romeo and Juliet playing. She is anyone can win as well as game. And as you get to these later entries, the chances go up. And now, hit from the back to Mr. T. Going to come from behind. Roll up. Kanos is out. And now, wait a minute. Oh, she hits that Three. reverse DDT eliminated. finishing move. And Mr. T is already out. Wow, he did not last long. And, yeah, this is going to be our last entrance. And who's it going to be? It's Romeo. Romeo and Juliet are both in this match. And, oh, Mr. T is a sore loser. He just tripped him up and tripping up Romeo again. Well, now we have Romeo and Juliet taking on Nino Williams. And now Romeo and Juliet are going at it. I mean, like I said, there's going to be no love loss from this. Like, literally in this case. Because both want to be able to fire who they want. And it doesn't matter if you're in a tag team or what. It's going. You want that to be able to have that power yourself. And now, wait, grab him. Wait, roll up. Three. And Romeo eliminated Juliet. And now, now it's down to Nina Williams and Romeo. Who is going to win this and go up and be able to fire two people and now wait a minute. She's holding up. What's she going to do here? No, wait. Reversed. And now, wait a minute. She grabs him. Wait a minute. She's going for her finishing move. Or another one. The jackhammer move. And she, goes up, and she does it. Three. Romeo is out. Nina Williams is the winner, and she gets to fire two people of her own choosing. Wow, what a great match. And, man, we had so many quick eliminations. Romeo eliminated Juliet in this. I wonder how that's going to play out. But, yeah, Nina Williams. I knew I'd win the Battle Royal, and now I get to make the rules. Two of you get to be fired. Cut from this roster. I want to make DCWL better by making sure chaos is put in its place. First up, Trevor Phillips. Trevor, you're a walking disaster, an unpredictable mess. 
Your erratic behavior may work in the streets, but in DCWL, it's just an obstacle waiting to be eliminated. You're out. And as for you, Belle Delphine, I have no time for games, no patience for your childish stunts. You bring nothing but distraction and nonsense. In a world of precision and power, you're a joke. Consider this your exit. Well, that is my decisions, and that is final. Enjoy NCWL, and stay out of DCWL. Oh, man. Bill Delphine and Trevor Phillips have been fired. And, jeez. Who would have ever guessed that? And now, we're on to our next match, where it's going to be Faye. Um, it's going to be Faye versus Violet Beauregard. Faye Valentine versus Violet Beauregard, and yeah, I think this is going to be a good match. Violet Beauregard won the Queen's Gambit tournament, and it's going to be interesting to see if she can beat Faye Valentine. And now... We have our champion here, our women's DCWL women's champion, Violet Beauregard. Man. It is so I mean we had such a great match last one and look, and it was a great way of starting this show off. Starting off with a big bang and an impact. And remember, all of DCWL matches for the pay-per-view are contested under Hardcore rules, balls counts anywhere, to have a definitive winner. And now, yeah, that great grab, Bubba grabs her, Iris whip in the corner, and oh, what a big punch sending Faye down. Slap, and now, slap reversed, reversed, and oh, that sends Faye back. And now, slap sending Faye to, to the apron, and now, Ooh, just ran right into her and sent her to the back. I mean, you would think that... I mean, Violet Beauregard has survived, surprised a lot of people. She was able to win the Queen's Gambit tournament against a lot of impressive people. And now, wait a minute, she had that table piece for a second. And now, wait a minute, Faye Valentine... Oh, she got a freaking barbed wire bat, but she puts it down. Maybe she was hesitant to use that sort of weapon. And now, ooh, grab this hits her into the ropes for a second. Now again hits her in the ropes. And now, ooh, hit. So reverse and slap sending Faye down. And oh! What right to the tank. Well not the grounds, but you know what I mean. And now Faye sends Violet to the ring. I mean, like I said, you would think that this sort of matchup would would favor Faye, but Violet Beauregard has been on a roll. She did win the Queen's Gambit tournament. And now, oh! That finishing kick right to the, the, the baby maker, and now again a second one! That's two in a one, row. Pimple. Two, one. Count two. No, a count two. Violet Beauregard hit two of her finishers right into the baby maker. Right. And it did not work. It could not get it done. And now, ooh, what a big strike to the face. Man, and now wait a minute, Bob Beauregard got the, the bat, and oh, she just whacked Faye right across the back with that barbed wire. Man. Slap. Kick sends Faye back. Man, Faye hit, well, no, Violet hit two of her finishers. And it could not put Faye Valentine down. That just goes to show the endurance and stamina that she has. And that, oh, what a big clothesline right to the back. And now, Resonate, punch to the face. And now, oh, another shot. 
for a directed shot right in. And now all that taunting. Man. This is good back and forth matching. They started off hot in this. And now, suplex. Slap, and now, wait a minute. Irish whip. And, oh, flipping her over the back. Grabbing her, and wait, reverse. And reverse again. Reverse, the slaps again, and now, by Beauregard gets it back. And now, Irish whip, and wait, reversed. And now, ooh, just shouldering her midsection right in that, that corner. Now, wait a minute. What's she going to do? Faye looks like she's going to hit her finisher. Going from behind. And now, wait a minute. She's hitting her reverse DDT finisher. One. Ball. This could be it. One, two, only a one count. Holy shit! Violet Beauregard kicked out at one. I mean, that has to be disheartening to Faye Valentine. And that just goes to show the durability that Violet Beauregard and all those repeated hits to the groin. And now, hit and now wait a minute, going behind and oh, it's club right to the back and wait a minute. What's she doing? She's look like she's gonna hit her finisher. It keeps her going back and oh, big clothesline to the back. And oh, the big knee strike. Wait, Violet, they could be out, but no, Violet Beauregard doesn't let that happen. She doesn't let the refs see if she was knocked out. She just goes right back to work. And now an abdominal stretch, finally letting go. And oh, and another knee right to the face and now slap traverse and now we hit over mine under it and oh it throws her out of the ring oh that punch sends her on the butt and now dropping the elbow right on the leg And wait, roll up. One. This could be it. One and only a one count. Man, she has not been able to get Vada Beauregard down for long. And she is just wailing away at her face because of it. Say what you want about Vada Beauregard and her sort of narcissistic attitude. She is putting on a show. And man. Oh, takes out the legs, and now, wait a minute, armbar. And, yeah. Goes from behind. Wait, no. Slap, and that sends Vada Bogart out. They both going for the same thing, and now, wait a minute. She's calling for it again, and, oh, what a big headbutt sending her back, and now... Slap, sitting her back, hit, and now, wait a minute, go for it, wait a minute, she's going to hit her, the jackhammer finisher, picking her up, she's waiting for it, she's going to hit it, she's gonna hit, she hits it, hit fall, one, two, oh, only a count of two, man, that was close, that's as close she's been in this match, and oh, what a, Spinning suplex. And Violet Beauregard still is taunting away. And oh, what a big snap. Like and now, another hit. And now, wait a minute, what's he doing? Dropping her elbow right on the knee. Hit reverse, and now we went hit reverse. And sends Violet Beauregard down. Gets kicked right in the face for a trouble. Rousing him, and hit. 
and face bring it back to her and slaps getting reversed they're going back and forth on these and Vala it's down wait a minute she's calling for it again and she's going to hit it once again grabs in her going from behind and hits that she's hitting the reversed DDT finisher again one, pinfall two, one count. two count to again what's it going to take to put Violet Beauregard down I mean we've seen Faye take two of Violet's finishers and that did not work and Faye has returned with her own moves and it's still has it has not produced the effects that she wanted and now slap right in the face holy shit what's it going to take to beat either of these women I said I'm in that way a minute she's taunting her now and ooh spin kick I mean this goes to show the athleticism and the pure heart that these women have and grabs her and wait hit right to the back and wait a minute it looks like she's gonna hit her finisher again is she gonna get it wait a minute she's got it this time it's gonna be on the floor and she's got her up is she gonna do it grabs her pinfall one two three we have a new DCWL women's champion it took so many of those jackhammers and reverse DDTs to get it done and eventually it took one on the floor for added measure in order to put Violet Beauregard down. It should not be underestimated just how hard these two women fought. But in the end we have a new DCWL women's champion and it is Faye Valentine man and yeah in our next match of the night is going to be this is a feud in the that's been going on for a while Joan of Arc and Olivia Benson taking on Duke Nukem in a opponent I mean in a partner of his choosing now the story here is that I mean Duke Nukem is an the asshole in the situation he's been provoking these two women and they've responded in kind with calling him a sexist and a creep and showing that they don't appreciate him but he does and at the last pay-per-view and wait a minute holy shit he got Broly he got Broly as his partner? For fuck's sake. Man, he brought in the big guns. But like I said, he was a referee in the match against Joan of Arc and Olivia Benson. And he managed, he gave Olivia the win, but only after beating the shit out of both of them during the match, and then after the match as well. And this feud has gone to where there's just exchange of blows now and Duke Nukem wanted to make this match more fair instead of it being a handicap match he wants it to be a a tag team match this tornado tag team hardcore match against the these two women and I gotta say wait a minute I think that's a fucking chair It, oh, he just bashed her right over the head with that chair. And Olivia Benson's still standing. She was knocked back loopy for a bit. And now, wait a minute. Spinning suplex and, oh, I think his back hit the chair. And Broly and Joan of Arc are going at it. And, I mean, one cannot underestimate, I mean, one cannot understate the monster that Broly is. This dude is jacked up to the hills. And, I mean, it is not looking good for Joan of Arc and Olivia Benson. They couldn't even prepare for this match. And, oh, what a kick. I mean, what a drop to the knee. And now, who hit 
And I mean, at least Olivia Benson, she's getting her hands on Duke Nukem and she got that chair. She's gonna use it on him and now. Man. Oh, I mean, you one has to believe that Broly is going to be a difference maker here. Broly is a monster. He is a beast incarnate. And now we're in a spinning net breaker on Olivia Benson by Duke Nukem. I don't know how Duke got Broly. And Irish Whip. And oh, what a. The elbow right to the face. And now wait a minute. That. Oh, an arm bar. I mean, one can also state that while he is also a. He is a definitely a beast. He's also a master fighter as well. Oh, he hits Jim down with a, a punch right to the face, and now, man, it's hard to keep up with both of these. And now, wait a minute, Joe Bark reverses it into an arm bar of her own, and Duke hits Olivia Benson on the back. Like I said, Olivia Benson and Joe Bark do not like Duke Nukem. They think he's a sexist that he objectifies women. Duke did, did them dirty, and Duke Nukem's response to this has been like, I mean, he's prodded them for that, saying that they're not his type of woman, and wait a minute, what's Broly doing? Grabs her, going from behind, and, oh, reverse DDT, wait a minute, this could be, this could be it. Pivot, one, pivot, one, two, two three. three, Broly wins, Broly gets the win over Joan of Arc. Getting the win for Duke Nukem. God. Man, what a... Man, what a match. I mean, Broly was the deciding factor here. Broly is a beast. And he managed to get the win for Duke Nukem. And I don't know how where this story goes from here. Man. And our next match of the night is going to be for the DCWL International Championship. As it's going to be Trapjaw taking on Danny Zuko for the DCWL International Championship. Trapjaw beat Hadouken for that title. And... Trapjaw is going to see how he can do it, and Danny Zuko is coming out now. And, yeah, it's. I wonder who's going to win this fight. I mean, from a purely size perspective, a size and powers perspective, you would think that that has to benefit the champion, Trapjaw, but we, we've seen that. The bigger, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall mentality. And there's that was our champion, Trap Jaw. And they begin with a taunt, and now the atomic drop went from the front from Danny Zuko to go with. And he's taking the fight to Trap Jaw. Grabs him and Irish whip. And oh, elbow right, didn't hit right in now. Oh, that elbow right to the. The, the front of Danny Zuko. And chop. And scoop slam. I mean, Trap Jaw definitely wants to see how far uh, he wants to prove his worth as a champion. And Danny Zuko, impressive in NCWL from all I've seen, being a champion. Though. So, I mean, yeah. Suplex. So, I mean, he might want to add a, a championship here. And now they go to the outside. And now, wait a minute. Pile driver on the floor. Oh, the pile driver right on the freaking floor. Not even breaking dude's neck and giving him a concussion with that sort of thing. Man, now, Hicks. 
and I'll pick up the fight. Low blow block. I mean, the outside has, I mean, it cost him Violet Beauregard her title. Maybe they'll do the same for, for Trap Draw. Now, super kick. Sending Danny Zuko down. Another super kick. Just sending him back that time. And now it chops. Reverse, and now we make one behind. And. Oh, that's how he dropped down. Back now, we have Danny Zuko. Slow to get up, but. Oh, super kick reverse. And now. Trap Jaw is all fired up. And all. Oh, hit me right to the face, and now. Grabs him. And wait a minute. Hits his first one. The finishing snow cloud. This could be it. Pinball. One. Nine. Two. Only a one count. That's the second time of the night we've seen something like that. He just took Trap Jaw's finisher. And this on the floor, that is. With even more facts to it. And now. They both go back. I mean, we got a great show for you guys. I mean, we are seeing a lot of this great show. Nick Gemini is going to be taking on a surprise opponent himself in a steel cage match. We don't know who it is who's fighting. But Nick Gemini, he wanted this fight. He want he beat Danny Jackpot, and he insisted he wants to to fight on these shows. And Elon Musk has been more than accommodating to Nick Gemini and his wants for Nick Gemini's help with letting DCWL use the NCWL roster. And now, I mean, we also got the tag team titles with Macho Jeff and Zangief taking on Pulp Fiction. Not to mention Ed Kuehl versus Thanos for the Titan Championship. And lastly, wait a minute, pinfall attempt one. Only one count. And our main event match is going to be for the DCWL World title with Jack Septiguy taking on Michael Vick for Michael Vick's DCWL World title remnant. I think Danny Zuko is setting up for something. Grabs him, going from behind. And wait a minute, pump handle? Pump handle drop! Pinball, this could be it. One, One two, two, only a count of two. Man, this has been a back and forth matchup here. And now Irish whip reversed. And oh, what a big drop. Right to the face. And now, wait a minute. What's happening here? No, wait. Countered. And oh, Trap Draw sending him back to the outside again. And now, wait a minute. And oh, man, what athleticism. He just did that. He jumped over the top rope and hit a senton right onto Danny Zuko. That just goes to show how much Trap Jaw wants to win this matchup and keep his title. And oh man, what a, a lariat taking him down. And now an elbow drop, and now they're He's taunting him again. And oh, what a chop. Sending him back and out. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going to that super kick, but it got reversed into a, like a, an ankle lock sort of or a leg lock. Wait a minute. Oh, he's calling for his finisher again. Is he going to hit it? Goes from behind. That pump handle drop. And he hits it. A pump handle drop right on the floor. Pinball. One, two, two 
three. three. Din Zuko has won. He is the new DCWL International Champion. Man, what a fight between these two men. And it took two of those moves on the floor to beat Trapjaw. Man. What a great showing by these two individuals. And, yeah. Yeah, and now, for our next match of the night, we're going to be having the... Yeah, we're having Nick Gemini taking on a to-be-decided opponent for, in this cage match. We don't know who it is. And here's Nick Gemini coming out, and he has that sledgehammer in his hand. And, yeah, I mean, he could bring that into the steel cage if he wanted, but I don't think he is. And who's his opponent going to be? I mean, Nick Gemini insisted on the, these rules. He wanted a steel cage match. He wanted a guest opponent. And, oh wait, that is... It's Cabal from Mortal Kombat! Cabal has taken Nick Gemini up on his challenge. Man, and now wait a minute. Go from behind. And... Atomic drop on the ass. And now grabs him. Hits an all poke to the eyes. Yeah, Nick Gemini. Wait a minute. Nick John gets his face ran right across the steel cage. And again he gets it ran across. Hits a now wait a minute. What's he doing? And on oh, Insiguri. The ball's taking the upper hand on the early up goings of this match. He's bouncing his face off there. And wait a minute. Again sending Nick Gemini's face. I mean, Cabal has the advantage of surprise going into this on Nick Gemini. And now wait a minute. Chop. I mean, he's grabbing him by the leg again. And oh, drops him right on the leg. The elbow right on the leg. That could t oh, and, oh, another poke to the eyes, right through the mask. Grabbing him, and... Oh, what a atomic drop on the ass. Grabs him going from behind. And, oh, what a backbreaker. And, oh, hits, hits. And, oh, that spinning, he was going for like a spinning shoulder block, and it didn't work. And, again, the eye poke. And now, wait a minute, he grabs him, and he sends Cabal against the, the cage. Yeah, that's his first time getting to taste the cage. And I, oh, what an eye poke again. Wait a minute, Nick Gemini, he's going to the top. Wait a minute, trying to shake him off. Trying to shake him off. Is, he gonna, is Nick Gemini going to get it? He's not going to get it. He's just running. Trying to, and Cabal's trying to get him. And wait a minute, Nick Gemini, what a quick timing. He just manages to bolt out. And Nick Gemini has won. Man, quick match, but Nick Gemini got it done. Well, I mean, yeah, we can wait, 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 what the hell? Danny Jackpot! Danny Jackpot's attacking Nick Gemini after this match. Wait, and a cash out right on the floor. Wait, I mean, this has to be bitterness. Nick beat Danny Jackpot with all those weapons in the ring in that match. The weapons in the ring. And all oh, he just scoops his legs. And Nick Gemini tried to get away. He was he's been blindsided by Danny Jackpot here. And wait a minute. Another he's gonna do it again. Another cash out. Right on to Nick Gemini. This has to be bitterness. From Danny Jackpot and I mean, what's he going to do to Nick? And, oh, just puts him on the table. Wait a minute, what's he going to do? You can't tell me that he's going to do another one. Grabs him in. Oh, another cash out. Another cash out right through our announce table. What the hell, Danny? What the hell are you thinking? Doing this to Nick Gemini. 
Big Gemini has been put through the announce table, and he, Danny Jackpot, just brutalized Nick Gemini after his steel cage match. And man, now we have to go on to our tag team match. Speak it with two members that Danny Jackpot was associated with, Macho Jeff and Zangief. And Pulp Fiction. I mean, we've seen a lot of them, and I mean, I just can't believe what Nick Gemini had to just go through. He was attacked after his match. He beat the odds against Cabal. And yeah, there's our tag team champions, Macho Jeff and Zangief. And wait, Zangi grabs one, and now, oh, some power. And, oh, a, that title right to the back of Zangi. And Macho Jeff's already been busted open. Very early on in this matchup. I mean, he already has an eye patch, as it is. And now, wait a minute. Oh, drop him right on the arm. Man, we're getting bloody really quickly, and now Jules and Macho Jeff are fighting. And that Boston Crab. That Vincent and Zangief are fighting at it. Jules and Macho Jeff are going at it. Remember, this is Tornado Tag Team Hardcore Rules. So that title belt from the fans is legal. And oh, what a big spinning shoulder tap block sending Zangief down. But Zangief shrugged that off and now throwing Vincent to the outside. Now grabs him, going from behind, and Bulldog. And now, wait a minute. What's Vincent doing? Vincent got cheese. Vincent got a big freaking block of cheese and tries to hit. It's all oh, getting two shots. I mean, what the hell is that cheese made out of it? Grabs a hand. Irish whip. Reverse. And back body drop. Now, Irish whip in the corner. Now, wait a minute. Vincent was going for that title belt again. And now, all oh, headbutts. Now, wait a minute. Z Zangief has it. And all oh, low blow. Super kick. And all oh, that bubble bomb right on the cheese. Got all oh, that cheese right up his crack. That one. And now, Jules and Zangief are fighting on the outside. And now... Got that rock sign and oh, just hits Jules with it. They're going for the weapons here tonight. And now, wait a minute, Jules trying to maneuver him. And wait a minute, Zangief, Zangief's going for something as well. Is he going for his finisher? That oh, the cutter right on the Jules. Pinfall one, one, two. Count. Oh, count two. Jules took the finisher. And now Vincent and Macho Jeff are going at it. And now a abdominal stretch right onto Jules by Zangief. And Jules, Vincent brought up. Wait a minute. Double suplex. Macho Jeff is, is bleeding. Still. And he was dazed. And now wait a minute. Oh, choking out Zangief and lets it go. And now grabs him and oh reverse the time to drop. And now oh what a kick right in the face and now arm bar. And now stretching out the leg. And oh Vincent broke that up. Knocked Zangief down and wait a minute. He has that the steel steps. 
And now Zangi, I mean not Zangi, Macho Jeff has those steps in all oh, low blow. Now the steel steps have been introduced. And oh, it just hits Zangi right in the face with those steel steps, and Zangi's not down from that. That just shows how much of a brick shit house is. And another hit, and Zangi did not get sent down again. And oh, what a big punch! I mean, they were successful in defending their title the last time. Wait a minute, a nightstick? What the fuck? And, oh, a nightstick right to the back of Zangief. And all oh, just threw it right at his face. And Zangief is just taking, now Macho Jeff just hitting Jules repeatedly on the legs with those steel steps. And now Jules is, is on the apron. They think they were going to and now to the outside. And now Macho Jeff got the cheese. Headbutt on the outside. Irish whip. And wait a minute, no, he got the belt. And he's just holding it up and Ooh, that spinning shoulder block. And now wait a minute, what's happening here? And then grabs him. And Oh the cutter right on the, the steel steps. Wait a minute. Is he going to knock out? He's out! Zangy and Macho Jeff retain. Macho Jeff knocked out Jules by hitting that cutter right on the steel steps. That knocked out Jules and retained the tag titles for DCWL domination. And now, our next match of the night is going to be for the DCWL Titan Championship. It's going to be Ed Kuehl versus Thanos. And Thanos has been a very dominant champion so far. And he's been a very dominant competitor. He's been knocking people out. He's been... beating people in record times. And yeah, and Ed Kills is coming out, and now we obey our entrance of our DCWL Titan Champion. Originally, the DCWL Cruddyweight title until Thanos beat Daniel Bradson for it. And he's ruled it with an iron fist so far. And yeah, here's Thanos. He's very dominant. He's carrying the, the Infinity Gauntlets Fight! on his hand and out. Hit. And now, ooh, Ed Kuehl is coming back. And I mean, Ed Kuehl is a former DCWL world champion in his own right. So, I mean, Thanos can't afford to treat him lightly. Now, oh, he just lifts him up and slams him down. And now grabs him from behind and top of the back the other. And slams him back. Grabs him and move it. Up the back of the back. So I mean, that cool is not going to be a pusher for Thanos. And now hit, and now another hit. And net breaker. And now grabs him. And then roll up. Hit one. And one. Only a one count. I'm trying to surprise Thanos here. I mean, it can work. I mean, the strength advantage is clearly on Thanos' side. Although, when you talk about call experience, that, that could go on to, to, to Ed Kuehl's side. Oh, he slams Thanos down again. And oh, low blow. And now, throwing Ed Kuehl to the outside. And now, Thanos is going to be top rope. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? An elbow drop right to the floor. Thanos is doing all out against Ed Kuehl as well. And, I mean, 
I don't know how you fight against Thanos. It's going to take a lot to beat him now. Thanos, I mean, Ed Peele introducing a weapon, that, that foam finger son. I don't know how much that's going to do to Thanos. To, to Thanos. Oh, he hits him over the head. Twice with that. Going for a third time, it didn't work. And that uh, net grabs him, and... Ooh, good old net right there. And you get reversed, and... Oh! Drops him down. Now... Throws Thanos back in the ring, and now... And it... Oh, a lot. Keeping it at rest hold. Trying to really get some breathing there. He's taking over the fight with champion like Thanos. Oh, they're going trading blows and now, oh, Thanos knocks him down. And Thanos grabs him and what's he going to do? He throws Thanos to the outside. And now Ed Kuhn going to top rope that thing is on the outside. And oh, a leg drop right on the floor. Now they're both going, showing that they're willing to go all out for this. I mean, neither one of these guys are particularly liked. So it's hard to know who to root for. But Thanos is definitely putting up his best shot. In the and Thanos is laying in some blows himself. And another hit. Slapping him right in the face, keeps going out of the line. And Ed Kuhn looking behind, and oh, he tried to look him up and didn't work this time. He might be tiring himself out. Now he's going for it again, and it doesn't work. He might be just too tired to do it again. And now wait a minute, roll up one, only a one count on the floor. And Thanos showing his agility in this. I mean, he's not just a big brawler; he knows how to. To, to roll with the best in terms of lucha style. And all oh, these big shots. And I wait a minute. Thanos, I think he's calling for it. He grabs him and... Oh, he was hitting him with the gauntlet with the punches. And now, this could be it. One, One two, two, and all oh, a count of two. He did, could not, he did not beat Ed Kuehl with with those, that gauntlet punch. And now, and it puts it down and, oh, it dropped right down on the leg. Now, now it off, it's in the right from behind. He's about dropping his leg right at the mat. And he's doing it again. Grabs him and goes behind him and hits him in the back. Back. Grabs him and up. And oh, what a big hit right there. Face him, Ed Kuehl down. I mean, Ed Kuehl is putting up a thought. He has lasted longer than others. I mean, he's grabbing him again and... He manages to slam Thanos again. Sing him off his feet. Now pinfall. One, One two, two. Count oh, two. Count two. Calling away. And, oh, another. And now, wait a minute. I think he's calling for the kill kick. He could be calling for it. What you doing? He's not. He's going from the top rope and. Oh, an elbow drop. But it. You know, an elbow drop. But surely after it reverse. And now, wait a minute. What you doing? Irish whip. And big drop. And. Oh! Drops over. And, oh, that. That kick right. That side kick right there. Wait a minute. What's he doing? He's trying to lift him and he can't do it this time. Grabs him in reverse and then wait a minute, behind. Wait a minute, he's trying to do it back, suplex and he can't do it this time. And... Oh, dropping his elbow right on the leg and now wait a minute. Oh, I hit one of the 
We've been seeing a lot of that in these matches. And now, Ed Poole wants to lift him up, and he can't do it. And, oh, what a big punch. And now, Ed Poole sends Thanos to the outside. And now, oh, headlock. I think he's just trying to get some rest in now. He's thrown a lot of Thanos trying to get him. Which, oh, I thought Ed Kill might be trying to get something. And he's going back and... Oh, he got a kendo stick. But he's going to need these weapons to take on Thanos. And Thanos knows it. And trying to knock Thanos off. It's not working. And now, wait a minute. Oh, he, he was going to hit him with that and it didn't work. You get him and now, wait a minute. Now Thanos has it. And now he just puts it down. I think Thanos sees himself as a weapon. And now, hit some reverse. And oh, what a big punch. Another punch. Another hit. And now, dropping right on the leg. Grabs a man. And then, oh, the, another one of those gauntlet punches and now Ed Kuehl is bleeding and pinfall this has to be at one two oh count of two Ed Kuehl is not quitting he is trying and true when it comes to fighting and Thanos picking up the weapon and he doesn't get work oh Ed Kuehl tried I think desperately trying to get it Look at Thanos, he's being cocked now. And oh, it reverse, and now they're going to hold that bicycle kick. And so now Thanos, and he's calling for it again. What's he going to do? Grabs him. Iris ripped in the corner. And wait a minute. Oh, he's just kicking him down. And wait, what's he going to do? A Bronco Buster with his weight? Oh! Man, dropping that his weight all the way on his chest. I mean, this is usually a humiliating move, and this slightly here, but it has to take into consideration just how massive of a man Thanos is. One, pinfall. One, two, two three. three. Pinfall. And Thanos has retained the DCWL Titan Championship from a gamed Ed Kuehl. I mean, Ed Kuehl put in a great fight, but he just could not beat Thanos here. Thanos came at him full force. And in the end, Thanos ended up beating Ed Kuehl with those hits again. And now we move on to our main event of the night. Where it is Michael Vick taking on Jack Jacksepticeye. For the DCWL world title. And, yeah, here we go. We got Jack Jacksepticeye coming out first. And, I mean, Jack set the guy, he, he's the underdog in this match. He managed to beat Jones to get into this match. And he's going to be taking on the reigning and defending longtime DCWL champion, Michael Vick. But, I mean, Fight. Michael Vick has shown that he can go a distance. He's fought in one Elimination Chamber matches. He's won multiple matches. He's defended his title successfully before here and now we're going to have Irish whip. Jack set the guy, drop down and off him. I mean Michael Vick has no plans of losing that beast of you all world title anytime soon. And Irish whip right in the corner. Jack set the guy has something to prove. He's an underdog in this match and he wants to show that he can defeat Michael Vick and put him into his reign. And now, all oh, things are going right in the face. And now, Irish whip. And, oh, almost sending him down. 
up that big boot into the like, oh, insecurity. I think he baited them into that insecurity. Hoping that he was going to grab his butt. Now, oh, exchanging chops. And a punch sending Michael Vick down. Jack said the guy's definitely getting punches in. Hit right on the axe and out of it. The low blow is blocking that over here. Left it behind. Right, quick super axe. And now, what's he doing? Oh, hit right in the elbow. Arm on your elbow. And then he grabs him and. Oh, he's going to try to throw him out of the ring. And he successfully does. Michael Vick is fighting against him. Oh, he just, he just jumped right over the rope and taking out Michael Vick. I don't, Michael Vick did not see that coming, and now they have that table piece. Okay. And Michael, who Jack set the guy who smartly was running away from it. You've got a guy like Michael Vick with a, a table piece like that. He's a dangerous man. With, he's a dangerous man with his bare hands alone. Put a weapon in his hand, and that's another story. And now he got the weapon, and he puts it down. Maybe he's trying to... Wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh, he's put behind. Picks it up. And... Oh, he hits him right in the back of the head with that table piece. And chop. Exchange of chops, and... Oh, hit. Grabs him, and... Suplex? No, reverse, and... It was own suplex right of that table piece. And now, wait a minute, what's Michael Vick doing? Michael Vick got the baseball bat. Walks and oh, it hits him. I mean, that's not your sport, Michael Vick, but I mean, he's. Well, football his, is his sport. He's not willing to go outside of that in order to, to fight him. And now, wait a minute, he got his head. And oh, just slaps Jack Sipta guy right in the, the face with the head. And Michael Vick is he, Michael Vick is the one grabbing all these weapons to fight against Jack Sipta guy. I mean, Michael Vick wants to show. Michael Vick wants to prove a point here. He wants to you know, to shut up these underdog stories and wants to put to bed. This underdog story of Jack Septic Guy. Oh no blow. Jack Septic Guy wants to prove the underdog story and beat Michael Vick. And now elbow drop. And chop. And now Jack got the head. Michael behind. And then hit on the back. And Jack goes ahead and he throws it back into the audience. I feel bad for anyone who's in that row. And now, wait a minute, Michael Vick got that baseball. He got that barbed wire 2x4. He just hit Jack Septa guy with it. Putting him. You're lucky he's wearing a he's wearing that a jacket, so that blocks him. That's still not gonna feel good. Now it's not good. They're, they're fighting over that bat and oh he hits him! He hits Jack Septa guy with the bat. And sit in it and sent him outside with that, and now wait a minute. Back suplex, and he landed on that bat. That didn't work well for him, and now Jack wants to use it on, on Michael Vick, and wait a minute, nope, it doesn't work, and wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh, man, he dropped him back first onto it, and Michael Vick wants to get it, gets the bat, and now he Michael Vick landed on that bat, he was dropping, and now Jack set the guy is taunting him. And he, oh, he was hitting him with the back, but he didn't work. And oh, what a big punch! And now he got the bat. He drops it, and now we it. What's he doing? Grabs him and and oh, throat first on the rope. And now Jack wants to use it, and all oh, that tackle, sending him to the out, sending Jack to the apron. And oh, Jack got hit once again by that. That barbed wire weapon, and Jack tried to swing and didn't work. Man, Jack has been getting clobbered with that 2 by 4 wrapped in barbed wire. Man. And now he has it himself, and wait, no. 
He puts it down. Like I said, Michael Vick feels like he has a point. Minute. Pinfall one, one two, two count no two. count two. Michael Vick has a says he's proving a point here. He wants to show that he can just put down these underdog stories to rest, and Jack wants to prove himself, prove that he can be a champion. And no, wait a minute, hits him right on the corner. And now wait a minute, Jack's gonna. Jack seems like he's setting up for something. He grab. Oh wait, no, it doesn't work. Michael Vick gets him away now. Hits. And now Jack's like the guy throws him back in the ring. And now wait a minute. He's taunting him. I don't know if that's a good idea. And grabs him. And all oh, worse comes out. And now Jack said the guy is taunting away. And all that. And lower tackle, sinking back, and now it's a very again on the Jack set the guy. Hit. And oh, what a big slap for the face. And now we're going to go from behind. And oh, a drop right in the ass. Slap. Grabs a man. Drop that the ass. Oh, and a punch right in the face. And now, wait a minute. Jack said the guy is turning away. Michael Vick, he is dazed. He's coming up. He rolls away from Jack. A smart idea. And wait a minute. Grabs him. Wait, roll up. One. Only a one count. Hey, Michael Vick might be getting desperate here. Um. Jack is putting up more of a fight than I think he was going for. Oh, jumping pile driver. And Jack set the guy taunting away. Hit and reverse. Hit and reverse. And down. And drop on the leg. And Jack is taunting away. He is fired up. He is getting these fans riled up. And now... Grabs a man. Oh, headlock takeover. And what's he doing? Throws him to the outside. Hit. Hit. Hit reverses. Trading blows and now. And what's happening here? Man. Pile driver to the outside. And Michael Vick is pumped. He is fired up. I think he wants to put this thing away. Grabs him and wait, reverse, and oh, low blow. Right to the back. Right to the balls of Jack. A hit. Elbow drop right on the legs. And taking out his knees. And hits him like that. And oh, elbow drop, but he missed it from the apron. He missed it. That could be a fatal flaw. And reverse atomic drop. Ooh, atomic drop over the uh, ass. And now, A2 been going back and forth at it. And I gotta say, Jack said that I've been putting up more of a fight than we believed of him. And now he's just punching away at the face of Michael Beck. Elbow drop. I mean, he's putting up a good showing. No one could deny that. He sends him in the ring. Wait a minute. He's going to the top rope. What's he going to do? And drop kick, but it's reversed. And Jack said that he's standing up, but he is dazed. Grabs him from behind. And sidewalk slam. And all. Oh, I know one of those knees right here. It's hate. Right to the lower body region, and now we make Irish whip. And oh, hit pass. I don't think Michael Vick was expecting such a fight from Jack Sepp. And 
Wait a minute. Oh, punches right in the face again. Jacks up the guy. He's punching away at Michael Vick's face. Grabs a man, swoops his legs, and now drop his elbow right on the leg. And wait a minute, Michael Big going to the top rope here. And leg drop right on the jack set the guy. And Growling hits him right in the front. And now wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh, stomping him, stomping away at him. Jack set the guy is wondering what does he have to do to put away Michael Big. And then we have a pinfall. One, One two, two, oh, count of two. Gotta see there's some desperation there on the part of Michael Beck. And now, oh, punch to the face, seeing Michael Beck on his butt. And now, oh, hit right in the face. Grabs at him and, wait a minute, roll up. One, One two, two, count two. Count two. Man, Michael Beck resorted to a roll up there. And now we minute over behind. And, oh, hit right in the back. And Michael Vick is fired up. Grabs him and hits him right over the top of the head. And now what's he doing? Grabs him and wait a minute, he's hitting the, his finishing Falcon Arrow. Finishing Falcon Arrow, this be a one, two, two no! Two. Michael Vick could not could not get the win with that that Falcon Arrow. And Jack set the guy taunting away. He is fired up. He will not give up. And now suplex. Suplexing him down. Now grabs a man. Irish whip. And go take. Down and out. Drop kick. Hit him with his best shot. And that was not enough. And now grabs him from behind. And wait a minute. Roll up. One, One, two, two. and oh no. I mean, that was close. Jack almost got him in that drop kick. And now, wait a minute. Jack got him in. And now, oh, another hit. And now, wait a minute. He's calling for it again. Is he going to hit the, another Falcon Arrow? Jack is dazed. And now, wait a minute. He's lifting him up. And he's going to hit it. Another Falcon Arrow. This has to be it. One, two. two. Three! Three. And Michael Vick beats Jack Septiguy and he retains the DCWL world title. But only after a brutal fight. Man, what a big back and forth. Well, this was a good show. This is Derek the BX Stream saying goodbye and get wise.